What's going on guys? My name is Grant Noakes. I'm a coach here at Optimal Power Performance. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through my pregame routine that I used as a college catcher. If you're a high school catcher looking to make it to the next level, a pregame routine is so important, not only for the reps, but to mentally and physically prepare yourself before you go play in the game. Guys, the first thing I would start with every day is a dynamic warm up. You don't have to do this exact dynamic warm up. This is the one that I used to use before my games. First thing I start off with, nice light jog, 20 to 30 yards, no more. You don't need to run around the field. Something quick, get your heart rate up. Second thing I would always warm up with is either a high knee variation or a knee hug variation. A high knee variation, we've all seen it before. Quick, toe up, staying as relaxed as possible. The second variation would be a knee hug up on the toe, stretching out my hip and my, uh, my growing as much as I possibly can. <sighs> Next, I'm gonna move into a lateral side lunge, hitting both sides, staying low through the middle, come out, shuffle, shuffle, back in, low through the middle, shuffle, shuffle. Next one, really gonna break up the quads here quad stretch onto the toe, reach overhead. Should feel a massive stretch in your quad. Now we got reverse hamstring swoops. Dropping right into it, keeping that cup of water on my back. You wanna have a flat back, don't wanna round out here. Back flat here, swoop, take a step back, swoop. Get those hamstrings nice and loose. Now, I like to finish my dynamic warm up typically with two explosive moves. I'll typically do a set of broad jumps and a set of vertical jumps to make sure I can move explosively before the game. Guys, on game day, this was the first thing I did. Had to get the body warmed up, have to get the heart rate up. Now it's time to go inside, work off the machine. We're gonna work receiving, throwing, blocking, and a plyo routine. Follow me. All right guys, the first thing I warm up every game day was receiving. Receiving is the most important when it comes to a catcher's game. The first thing I start off with is green plyo rolls. The reason I do this is because it's the heaviest and provides the most resistance. So the rest of the day, the baseball will feel lighter. Guys, and I wanna work on this from each stance that I'm going to be using in the game. If I'm gonna use left knee down, right knee down, traditional, each stance that I plan on using during the game, I wanna practice during my pregame routine. Next, I'm gonna go into the lightest plyo I can find. The reason I wanna do this is I wanna work on moving the ball as fast as possible, but I also wanna stop it quick to give the umpire a great view of the pitch. All right, next, we're gonna work on baseball picks with just the bare hand. The reason I wanna do this is work on staying underneath the ball, getting my thumb under the ball, accelerating back towards the strike zone. Guys, I'm still working on trying to move the ball as fast as possible back to the strike zone stopping the ball very quickly. All right guys, now I'm working off of machine. I wanna set the machine up to imitate whatever the starting pitcher that day is throwing. If I have a lefty, I wanna make sure that the fastball has a little bit of sink, two seam run that a lefty would have. And I wanna set up the machine to catch lefty sliders, whatever pitch I will be seeing that day. If I'm, face, if I'm catching a righty, I wanna see a righty slider, righty breaking ball, maybe even set the machine up for a right-handed changeup. These are the type of things that help prepare you to get ready for the game. I also wanna work on each pitch, receiving away, in, down, and up. Guys, here I wanna work on each stance, right knee down, left knee down, get some traditional in. Any stance that I'm gonna use in the game, I wanna incorporate into my pregame warmup. Let's take two more, working on the low and away pitch. All right guys, so we worked the low and away pitch. Now I'm gonna adjust the plate, make sure I see some pitches coming in the, on the zone, punching the ball back over the plate. After that, I'm gonna work on the high pitch and then I'll move on to throwing and then blocking after that. All right, the last thing I'm gonna work for receiving is the high pitch. Really getting on top and working down back towards the strike zone. This is an important move to learn and practice before the game because a lot of pitchers are throwing that high carry fastball at the top of the zone. And we have to be able to get that for a strike.
All right, guys, I typically like to work five to the out outer half of the plate, five on the inner half of the plate. Make sure I get some bottom of the zone working through and then work on that elevated fastball top of the zone that we want to steal for a strike. Now I plan on moving on to throwing, so come with me as I take you guys through that. Now I'm gonna move on to my throwing exchange drills that I like to do before I get into the game. The reason I wanna go through these is I know I'm gonna throw to first, second, and third base throughout a game, and I wanna be physically and mentally prepared to do that. So the first thing I always start off with, we covered this on the Instagram video the other day, is the simple glove turn. That move starts my exchange into my hand. So I really just wanna drill this move until it, it feels good and I feel comfortable. Butter. Next thing I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna do the same move, but I wanna exchange the ball into my hand. Oftentimes, I'll put a baseball in between my thumb, my pinky, and my ring finger, so I can only grab the ball with, this two, with these two fingers. Now we'll do it without the baseball. All right, guys, now I'm gonna add this step into this transition exchange. Getting my foot down as fast as possible, making sure I have two fingers on the baseball. The last drill I'd like to do before I try and move as fast as possible is a pause drill. Turn the glove, grab the ball, feel that drive towards second base. Now, when I feel the drive, I don't wanna step six inches in front. I wanna get my foot down fast and feel the push from my rear leg. Now it's time to let it eat. I wanna be as smooth and as quick as possible when, I, when I'm doing my footwork. Getting my foot down, working around the baseball. All right guys, that's how I warm up my footwork in exchange to throw to each base and catch runner stealing during the game. Now I'm gonna take you through my warm up for blocking. All right guys, I use a lot of left knee down and right knee down stances, which means I have to be able to block from those positions. The way I like to train this and warm this up before a game is by using a band for resistance, working on the push laterally. All right guys, now moving into blocking with a live ball coming at me, I wanna be in an isolated position where I'm not moving anything except glove to five hole, squaring the ball up with my chest and hopefully I have a kill block right in front of me. This should warm you up to be able to take a ball to the chest so we're not scared of the ball during the games. All right guys, now I'm gonna go into game blocks. I'm gonna simulate right knee down pushes, left knee down pushes, and traditional blocks. Get me ready to stop the ball in the game, hopefully save some runs for my pitchers. All right, now that I got my feels down for my blocks, these last couple, I wanna block and recover as if it was a drop third strike or there's a runner taking off to a new base. All right guys, now I'm gonna take you through my plyo routine that I used on game days before I threw with the starting pitcher. That consisted of reverse throws, pivot picks, figure eights, janitor throws, and some type of athletic throw, most of the time mimicking a double play that a second baseman would use. I wanna focus on being really athletic and making sure I'm relaxed, but moving quickly.
Hey. Guys, a plyo routine is crucial before the game, not only to get your arm warmed up, but to put yourself in positions to make accurate and powerful throws throughout the game. All right, now that I've taken you through a dynamic warm up, my receiving progression, my throwing and exchange progression, and my blocking progression, that's when I would start my plyo work. Getting my arm warm up, then I would throw with the starting pitcher. Taking mental notes while throwing with the starting pitcher. How's his fastball today? How are his secondary pitches? What's his out pitch looking like? Does he feel comfortable throwing each pitch for a strike? All of this valuable information needs to be kept in the back of your head during a game so that you know the situation. Can he land that 0-2 slider just a little bit off the plate so we get that swing and miss pitch? Is he comfortable? 2-0, can he drop in a secondary pitch? What pitch does he want to attack hitters? with. These are important conversations you need to have right during the bullpen before the game. For me, my pregame routine is when I physically locked in, but more importantly, mentally locked in. This is the time where I started to trust my training that I put in throughout the week and throughout the previous months behind me. This is when I start to get that mindset that nobody is better than me. No catcher is better than me. I am the best player on the field and I'm going to lead my team and help my pitching staff so that we can win more games. If you are a high school or a youth catcher who has not yet implemented a pregame routine. Give this routine a try, not only to benefit your catching development, but so that you can help your team win more games. This is a key aspect in impressing college coaches and getting to the next level. If you found this video super important and you think it'll take your game to the next level, give us a follow, subscribe to our YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and let us know what you think in the comments.